What's going on devs? Welcome back to AppDev channel. So in today's episode, we're gonna create from scratch, step by step, a sticky navigation bar. We're gonna use HTML and CSS for styling and a little bit of JavaScript, okay? We are gonna have a event list or a scroll. So when we scroll it, it's gonna toggle the class to a stick, okay? Sometimes stick, sometimes not stick. So it's a really cool project here. I think it's another nice addition to your portfolio. If you're new here and you want to increase your web dev skills, subscribe and you also click the little bell on down below so you get notified every time I post a video like this one. Let's get started. All right, guys, now we're going to start that really from the beginning, really from the scratch. And as you can see in the beginning, all we have is this folder with these two pictures inside of it. Okay, do not worry about that. There is a link down below in the video description so you can download that from our Facebook page. Okay, uh, let's go to the terminal and here let's create our three files. Okay, one for our structure. Okay, our index.html, another one for the styling, styles.css, and for the behavior, we have app.js. As you can see on the left, they are here red, okay? And the next step here, let's use Emmet and have our boilerplate. As you can see, we are in the VS Code and yeah, it's working nice. So let's move now to the title and in the title here, let's say a sticky navigation bar, okay? And let's say JavaScript. And now we want to have a link that's going to connect our HTML to our CSS. All right. And the last thing here, down below here, let's have a script. Okay. Connecting, pointing to our app.js. Okay. Our external JS file. And now we're going to move to the body, okay? Our HTML is going to be quite simple. And in here, we're going to have a header. And inside the header, we're going to have a link with our logo. In the text here is going to be logo. And at the same level, assembly, you're going to have a UL with five LIs. And inside this one, the links, okay? This one is going to be pointed to nowhere. And in the text, let's say home. Another one, let's say about, pointing also nowhere, and services. This one here is gonna be Tim. Another one point nowhere, and for the text here, it's gonna have contact, all right? Now we want that side by side. We wanna code on the right, and you are gonna see the results in real time on the left okay that's the best way of learning learn by doing down below here in the body we're gonna have the two sections okay this one has the class of banner it's gonna be output plate using css and down below it let's have another section okay class about we're gonna have a h2 and also a paragraph okay the same level okay assembly and this paragraph is gonna be 10 words, okay? So let's use the lower term. In the H2 here, let's say stick navigation JavaScript. That's not the point, it's not important, it's just to show you the navy bar. The project's all about the navy bar, okay? We are in the real of CSS where part of the magic happens. So let's grab the poppings from Google Fonts and let's do give some style to our ugly page here. Okay, let's have our CSS reset, our universal selector, and let's get rid of margin and also padding and apply box sizing, border box to everything here. All right. Okay, the font family here is going to be poppings. And as a fallback, in case of anything goes wrong, we're going to have our old friend Sans Serif. Now we are going to move to the body. Okay, let me go to the line temp and body. And the background color here is going to be black. You can 
choose your old call of course the, the one you like the most and the mean height is gonna be 200 VH okay we're gonna have two sections it's gonna be 100 VH to each one of them all right all right now we're gonna grab the header okay it's the main part of our project let me type here header and here let's start with the position is gonna be fixed okay we are creating here a stick navigation bar from the top let's say zero all right and from the left also zero let's also apply a width of 100 percent of its parent okay and for the layout let's use flex okay align them from the left to the right okay and uh, so let's change that with just five content space between okay you can see there is this huge space between the logo and the, the allies align item is going to be center okay and you want to bring them a little bit down and space them around so let's uh, apply padding 40 pixels top and bottom and left and right is going to be 100 pixels all right we also want this to be always on the top so in order to do that let's uh, apply z index of one okay and we also want to have some effect so for that transition all and dot six seconds okay all right now we're gonna grab the logo okay header dot logo and start with the position is gonna be relative the font weight let's increase that to 700 all right and now we're gonna change the color i'm gonna use a, a orange color because it's gonna fit with a background color but of course you're gonna use your own color okay the text decoration here is gonna be none so we get rid of those underline and we also want to increase the font size to 2 em all right as you can see the left is much bigger right now and text transform we want that to be uppercase let's apply some space in between the letters okay of two pixels we have a nice effect looks more professional and let's also add the transition to all of dot six seconds okay and next we're gonna take care of the ul itself let me give some space here so you can see and so let's have header and ul let's start by the position as relative we also want to display the layout as flex okay put it side by side from the left to the right and just five content center okay align items also center put it in the mirror okay now we're gonna grab the ul li all right those one let's start with the position as also relative and list style is gonna be none okay and now we're gonna grab the icons itself okay the ankle tag and we're gonna start to make the huge difference now okay so header ulia let's start here with the position that's gonna be relative and now we're gonna add some margin to it okay we're gonna put the apart there is no space between them and let's fix that with margin it's gonna be zero top and bottom and it's gonna be 15 pixels left and right okay let me save here and show you it's much better now and the next step here let's deal with this underline those one so let's have text decoration none so no underline at all and down here let's change the color okay let's use a white color okay like f4 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 it's a beautiful it's not that white but it's, it's white okay and the letter space let's put say space in between the letters here it's gonna be two pixels and let me save and as you can see the result it's nice very nice okay continue let's uh change the font weight to 500 okay it's beautiful 
And the next step here, let's uh, add some transition, okay? Transition all and like the before, this one dot six seconds, all right? You're gonna see that in the end of the project. And continue here. Now we are gonna do something that most of people was waiting for, okay? We are gonna deal with this area here, the bunny. We are gonna apply a background. So let's start with the position relative, which is gonna be 100% of its parent, but the height is gonna be only 100 VH, okay? 100 VH for this one and another 100 VH to another one, to the second one. Background, let's apply a URL and let's use a, our picture, okay? There is a link down below so you can download this one. Let me save and as you can see it's huge, it's not nice. So let's use background size cover and yeah, very good. And our project is taking a nice shape, all right? Moving now to the second section, okay? And this one we call that a bolt. And the position is going to be relative. And remember, this one is just to show you the, our navy bar, okay? It's not a big deal. So the pattern here is going to be 75 pixels because we're going to have some text here with going to be 100% of its parent and we're going to use here a 100 VH height, okay? Total is going to be 200 VH. Like the first one in here, let's have a background, let's have URL and here let's pick our the second background, alright? And like we did before, let's change the background size to cover and now let me show you. Yeah, we have a nice project here. Okay, we have two sections, and just to show you the stick navy bar, how this is gonna affect. Okay, when we scroll. One last thing before we dive into JavaScript, let's deal with this text here. Okay, first the h2 and then the paragraph. It starts with the h2, the font size here. Let's change it to 3 em. All right is black right now so let's change the color so we can read it okay so before that margin is zero get rid of margin and padding is gonna be zero zero twenty pixels all right and the color let's pick a f4 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 let me show you yeah okay now let's move to the paragraph section and p okay the font size here, let's change it to 1.2 EM. We also want the margin here to be zero. And let's also apply a padding also zero. The color, the same thing here is going to be F4, F4, F4. Let me save and then show you. It's something simple just to show you that we have two sections that's going to interact with our stick navbar. All right, we are at a big moment here in the section of JavaScript, and we're gonna start by take the window and add a event list. Okay, we're gonna add a event list on scroll this time, not clicky, and we're gonna run a function. Okay, and first of all, let's start by getting a reference to our header. So, document query selector, and let's grab the header from from the DOM. Okay, header. And let's save that in a variable. So let header, okay. And now we can manipulate that. We have that reference in our header. So header and class list toggle. We are going to be toggle the stick class, okay. When the window dot scroll, scroll y vertically, okay, is bigger than zero so every time this is bigger than zero we are gonna have this stick class applied to it we just wrote the lines of code but now i'm gonna show you those line action so let's come here and every time i scroll down a little bit the class sticky is added to the header okay let me show you one more time i scroll down and we have the stick class added to the header and that's the idea okay and the next step here we are going to be uh styling okay styling this stick class 
all right and now we should be styling that class that you just create on javascript okay let's look for header here yeah all right and down below here let's select header dot sticky okay one that you just create on javascript and let's make a few changes here like padding the pad we want that to be 5 pixels top and bottom and 100 pixels left and right okay we also want to change the background color it's gonna be a white color okay rgb 226 226 and let me show you okay nice but we can't see we can't read the text both of them are white so let's fix that all right let's grab the header dot stick and logo and also header dot stick and the ul li and echo okay and the color here is gonna be a dark color let's pick this one to c to nine and to c okay and this is it guys we just finished i really hope you like it let me show you a nice project congratulations we just finished something very cool if you like it you know what to do subscribe and you also click that little bell down below so you get notified every time i post a new video bye bye and see you in the next video